Hey y'all, if you wanna see me go from this to this to a nice sleek bun, definitely keep watching. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future, Jeremiah 29, 11. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my hair in braids. I'm gonna start by misting these braids that I've had in for quite a while because I want to moisturize my hair. I'll go in with my As I Am leave-in conditioner to help lock in that moisture. It's my cream and the LCO method. And then I'll seal with my main choice anti-breakage repair anecdote oil. Again, this the goal is to seal in my oil. I mean, seal in the moisture. And then this is what my hair looks like after I take my braids out. I'm gonna go ahead and separate a few pieces and then dive right into parting, giving myself a middle part. Then I'm gonna separate my hair into three separate sections. Um, I'm using my finger because I don't really like to use combs. You just wanna have the front sections being relatively um, equal inside with the back having the bulk of your hair. And so that's what I'm doing here. So this is what the back of my hair looks like. Like I said, the bulk of it is in the back. I'm gonna go in with my Camille Rose Curl Maker. I like this jelly because it gives you a hold, but it doesn't make your hair hard. I really like it because it also has really natural ingredients and it just makes my hair feel really good. So I use about three to four pumps um, on the top part of this section um, to basically help with smoothing my hair out. And then I go ahead and I do the same thing under my nape area or in my nape area. And so I'm just smoothing out my hair because I want my hair to lay flat. So then I'll go in with my bristle brush and then brush it out so that it could be super smooth. I'll use my elastic band to then put that section into a ponytail. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna make my way to the front sections. The first thing that I do is I spritz water on that section because I think it helps with just like loosening and getting the hair more pliable. Then I'll go in with my main choice sealing oil again because again, the goal is to get my hair to lay flat. Then I'll add the curl maker and smooth my hair out with my hand and my brush. Again, we want this style to be super flat, which is why we're using the boar bristle brush and focusing on smoothing. So I'll do the same thing on that top section using water, oil, and then the curl maker. And then I will brush it down to get that section as smooth as possible. And then I'll add it into that ponytail in the back. So that's what you see me doing here. Then I'll smooth it out with my brush again and then move on to the next section. So again, similarly separated into two sections. I'll spritz my hair with some water and then I will seal that water in again with the oil. I'll detangle and then I will smooth it out and then add some curl maker, put it in that ponytail section and then do the same thing with the top. Water, oil, detangle, add some curl maker, smooth it out, use the brush to smooth it out, and then add it into that back section of my hair. Again, the goal is to just get my hair to lay as flat as possible and smooth as possible, which is what I'm doing here. So now I'm putting my hair into the ponies, all of my hair into the ponytail holder and focusing on smoothing out any areas that may look lumpy or bumpy. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with the curl maker and add some more onto my hair, the top and nape area of my hair. Well, now that it's molded, I decided that I wanted to go back and try to get it even flatter than before um, because I still felt like there are a little bit of lumps and bumps in my head. So I knew I could get it to be even flatter. Again, you don't have to do this, but I'm doing it because I like my hair to look and feel flat and smooth. So now I really like this hair tie because it's super stretchy and it does not give you that weird tension in your ponytail area. Um, it's a goodie hair elastic, it's extra large, and I got it from Target. I'll try and link it down below. Now I'm gonna go in with the ORS Olive Oil Edge Control. I'll apply it to the top of my hair, my edges, and my nape. 
Sorry y'all, I don't know how to lay my edges, so I'm just simply going to smooth it down um, and this will just have to do because sis over here does not know how to lay her edges. I'll smooth everything out to my liking and then I'm gonna focus on my ponytail and spritz it with water to moisturize it and then add some as I am leave-in conditioner and then I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my hair into a bun. I'm giving myself a true protective style by doing this because none of my ends are like exposed. It's nice and neat and yeah, I'm feeling it. So now I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hair with my scarf and I'll leave it on for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, this is what my hair looks like. I'm actually really satisfied with this look because like I said, my hair is very smooth and flat, but it's also it's also got really good hold. And so I like that my hair feels moisturized and that the style looks very neat. So yeah, this is my sleek bun tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.